Outdoor Passion is brought to you by Mercury, number one on the water. Williams Lures, trophy tickers for over 90 years. And Sale, the Outdoors Superstore. Wow! Welcome to Outdoor Passion. I'm Andrew Carter. We've got a great show for you today. Over the next half hour, Ray Carignan is going to take you to Lake Champlain. Beautiful Lake Champlain with giant lake trout and landlocked salmon. Our Novelty Minute will feature the new Savin Series Spoons from Moose Look. Our technical segment demonstrates a new advanced water temperature and trolling speed monitoring system. You know, catching monster lake trout and landlocked salmon on light action downrigger rods in the crystal clear waters of Lake Champlain is a blast. Well, let's see Ray Carignan and Jim Hotelling of Trolling Tina Charters reveal their secrets on Lake Champlain, just outside Willsboro, New York. The destination of the week is brought to you by Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear. Today, we return for an adventure on Lake Champlain. It's our sixth great lake, renowned for its beauty and history. This very large lake covers over 450 square miles, which puts it right after the five great lakes in order of importance. Numerous bays provide a complex environment and ideal conditions for the growth of trophy fish. They also supply shelters against dangerous winds. The limpid waters reach a maximum depth of 400 feet with an average of 65 feet. This lake supports an impressive economy. If we add up the value of every boat found in the many marinas, it will reach outstanding numbers. Our destination, Willsboro, is nestled in the shade of the Adirondack Mountains. This area is accessible through the interstate highways. It occupies a central position fronting the lake's principal basin. This makes it one of the main access points for deep water fishing. Our first stop is Willsboro Outdoor World. It's a highly specialized fishing and hunting store, and they know about the hot lure currently pounding the local fish population. The expert staff will share the latest patterns and presentations suitable for the area. They are familiar with the lake conditions and the best seasonal fishing spots. This information will save precious time for those not familiar with Lake Champlain. That's all I need. Okay. Well prepared and informed, we can head out to one of the many boat ramps in the region. Recognizing the importance of the fishing boating industry, Willsboro did not hesitate in building a state-of-the-art boat ramp with free access. With long docks and lots of parking space, we can't help being impressed by this facility. Both Ray and Jim Hotelling of Trolling Tina Charters have considerable experience of these prolific waters. This time their scheduling allows them to form a great team. With their knowledge and expertise of the latest high-tech equipment, we can expect a few monsters to their long list of achievements. Without any hesitation, our autopilot follows a precisely plotted trail. He's hammered. Yes, yes. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Okay. Immediately, our first strike near the bottom in 25 feet with a boat speed of two miles per hour. Oh yes, oh boy, the big boy. The lure's barbless hooks is deeply dug in the huge jaws. Yes, the big fish. Oh. Good 
you. All right. Okay, ready? Yeah, here we go. Okay, go. When water temperatures are cold, lake trout are extremely difficult to tame. What a way to start the day with a magnificent laker caught with a black and white Rapala J9. This confirms that the average sizes of salmonids keep going up and up in Lake Champlain. Since the arrival of alewife in Champlain's ecosystem, there are more prey fish per acre than Lake Ontario. Daily limits are set at three lake trout with a minimum size of 15 inches. This trout will be harder to fool next time. There we go. Thanks for the shower. <laughs> During cold water periods, we still prefer to use downrigger running weights 10 feet off the bottom. By letting out 150 feet of line, we present lures near bottom in a natural manner. Even in shallow water, downriggers are very effective. When lakers are scattered, we use surface planer boards and control lure depth with drop weights. New York State new regulations allows three rods per angler. It's easier to use downriggers and side planers together to create the most effective spread possible with more rods. With these techniques, our lures are more productive and able to fool the wariest trout. When the lake is calm, trolling with a 24 or 36 volts electric motor is a stealthy and ecologically sound method. Models with wireless remote control, automatic pilot and integrated GPS adds to the efficiency, but it requires very good deep cycle batteries. Our search takes us over a large rocky reef. Ray can barely hold on as another colossal battle begins. The black. Yeah. Black it looks like a good one, Ray. Oh, it is. Jim's slight change to the boat's speed was enough to get a commitment from the big laker. Oh, wow. Wow, good work. Top lure for the day is the BX Minnow. It combines a balsa core and a durable copolymer outer body to resist the strongest, toothiest predators like lake trout. In clear water, the slim sides produces lifelike reflections that imitates alewives, a favorite prey. This great catch is also due to a smelted scented potion called Supreme Gel that Ray smeared on the lure. Still more to come with probably the biggest lake trout ever recorded on professional video from Lake Champlain, right after this. Manufacturer of quality aluminum boats since 1954, Princecraft Boats has always distinguished itself with the durability of its fishing and pleasure boats. See our history as we live it. The Bois Franks region in Quebec is proud of its tradition, and Princeville is a good example of industrial progress. For 60 years now, you are part of our history. Check out new 2014 models or view our complete history online at princecraft.com. Williams, a Canadian classic with worldwide recognition. Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes. Wobbler, the original. Whitefish, big fish. Nipigon, versatile. HQ, UV reactive strike triggering eyes. Darty, swims like a bait fish. Flasher, shines as an attractor. Moose look wobbler, the bait fish imitation. Thin fish, flutter spoon. Williams and Moose look for over 95 years. The choice is yours. Dream it, fish it, live it.
Rapala. The village of Willsboro can provide a wide range of services. Bird's Country Store can fulfill the needs of visitors before the outdoor excursion. Drop in on your next visit and be surprised at all the services offered. This is the place to find ready-to-go snacks and a vast variety of cold and hot drinks. It's also possible to do your grocery shopping for a prolonged visit since they have a wide assortment of meat products, fruits and vegetables. It is the traditional American country store where everything can be found. Fuel prices are very good, especially for Canadian visitors who are used to higher costs. After a day's fishing, we head for Johnny's Sports Bar to enjoy the best of the local cuisine. In the warm atmosphere of the dining room, we could feast on the succulent dishes presented to us in mouth-watering fashion. For us, it's the perfect stop to energize us for the next day's outing. This time, we're trying our luck over a 25-foot deep sandbank. Oh yes, well, that looks like a, oh, yeah, this is a big, this is a hog. In the shallows, the charge from a big laker is tremendously violent. Oh, it's a rod bender, a rod bender. This is the time of year when we can really feel the power of these fearsome predators. No, this is not Yukon or Alaska. Oh yeah, see it, see it. Oh yeah, look, oh, oh, wow. It's a whale, oh, my God. Are you ready, Jim? Well, I'm clearing this line. Oh yeah, you better clear, better clear the line because. That's a pig. pig. That's a pig. Good work. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We can thank the states of New York and Vermont for taking such good care of their fishery. They've had long-term programs in operation, which include the construction of fish hatcheries, lamprey control, and access to an ancestral spawning area. I can't believe it. Are we fishing Great Bear Lake? No. We're on Lake Champlain. A slow, precise presentation with a jointed plug was required to overcome the neutral attitude of this monster lake trout. To fool this predator, we used a slow trolling pattern with random speed bursts and change of trajectories. We made contact at the end of a small, subtle, submerged rocky point that was localized with the precise cartography of our sonar GPS unit. Yeah, oh yeah, nice cold water. Spring is a great time to release trout. Keep a few small fish and release the big spawners. Lake Champlain boaters have many marinas to choose from that have daytime services and temporary dockage. Indian Bay Marina and Restaurant is one of those popular places. We particularly enjoyed the atmosphere and the great food. And with the presence of other anglers, we also get the perfect opportunity to share our fishing stories. The meals presented by the inventive chef were absolutely scrumptious and the height of our midday breaks. And let's not forget the European-style lodging offered by Jim and Tina Hoteling of Trolling Tina Charters. You'll find fully equipped cabins with modern and very comfortable interiors. Fishing for trophies requires extra care, such as making sure the hooks are needle sharp. This is the difference between a missed fish and a solid hookup. 
check your hooks after every catch and when the lure contacts bottom. Fish on, fish on, Jim, Jim, fish on. All right. On the Williams, on the Williams issue. Got him? Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's a good one. Yeah, okay. Ray's attention to details seems to have paid off. We are confident this fish is well hooked. Oh, it shakes, it shakes. <laughs> Big head shake. Oh. Oh, okay, we're clear. It's a good one, Ray. Oh, it's the fish of the day. Oh. Yes. Stay away from that motor. Okay, I see it. You keep your rod high. Yeah. Yes, we got it. We got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> this enormous laker is the crowning achievement of our expedition to Lake Champlain. It's a magnificent fish, very close to the lake's record, which goes up every year. Obviously, bumping bottom with a large wobbling spoon was the correct like decision. A special color. Wow, Lake Champlain is back. It is back. It's a big comeback. Big comeback. Bigger fish, big because story. Of the L-Wise and the good looking. This is a very old fish. Yeah. Oh boy. Wow. Beautiful orange fins. Yeah. Fantastic fin. Oh. Nice. Great. Williams HQ Spoons does a great job of imitating Alewife. We improved its effectiveness by adding an exude egg to the hook. A black snap tied to a floral carbon leader completed the presentation. With monsters like this swimming in Lake Champlain, no wonder lake trout is the most popular fish. We prefer to use barbless hooks. It hastens the release process. Other salmonids thrive in Lake Champlain like brown and rainbow trout. You can add landlocked salmon to this illustrious list. They require a more accurate presentation in regards to speed and water temperature. Very unpredictable. They can move to different depths many times in a single day. Lake Champlain is a very rewarding destination that any angler should consider a priority. Its vast waters sustain trophy fish of all major species, especially trout and landlocked salmon. The lake's international reputation is fully deserved and its environment protected by a population fully aware of its value. Each season, thousands of avid anglers profit from Champlain's highly organized fishing industry. Shouldn't you finally be one of them? The destination of the week was brought to you by ProTech Marine, your outboard's best friend. So if you're planning to fish for lake trout on Lake Champlain, you're going to want to listen to the weather forecast and find out what the wind direction is for that day. The wind will often dictate where the cold water loving trout will be because warm water will invade cold water areas, moving those trout to other spots depending on the wind direction. Still more to come with the Novelty Minute that will feature new spoons and the technical segment that teaches you how to fish at the right depth and the proper trolling speed with outdoor passion after this. After these messages, it's fishing with UV reactive spoons and a new advanced water temperature and trolling speed monitoring system. Stay with us. Prince Craft, a six decade leader in aluminum boat building has always distinguished itself with quality, durability and the reliability of its fishing deck and pontoon boats. Whether for fishing, pleasure boating or water sports, all Prince Craft boats have a choice of options to meet all your needs once you find your favorite spot on the water. Go for the long-lasting and exceptional quality of a Prince Craft. For 60 years now, Prince Craft, dominate the waters. You see this Williams Flasher from the Cell Outdoor Superstore? Fish find it very attractive. But what I find attractive is that Cell has about 2,469 other lures right in the store. So for all your fishing needs, go big. Go to a Cell Outdoor Superstore. Here she is. My first Mercury. Verado, outstanding corrosion protection, proven reliability. And it comes with all this. Say hi to Wendy from customer support. She's always there to help. Jerry from product testing. He dishes out the torture. They can take it. Good. 
And Tim from design, he never misses a detail. Obsessed with quality. Bobby, prop engineer, he turns horsepower into performance. This is George. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. You're going to need to pick a boat. The Novelty Minute is brought to you by Sail the Outdoors Superstore. An outdoor passion with Ray Carignan and the Novelty Minute. And what is this, a new spoon? Exactly, it's the new lineup of Sauvin Spoon from Mooseluk. And these lures are made from precious metal. And you know, Andrew, precious metal will reflect available light a lot further with more brilliance than any other material. And also these lures are UV reactive. So they use the UV light for even more reflection and light intensity so they will attract big fish from far away on the water especially in clear water and when they see the look the naturalistic look of these lures they might be tempted to hit it and also if the water is murky this precious metal and uv reactive lure combination will again attract fish from further away and they're available in three different models you have the winnie so this is a very light model. It's like a flutter spoon. It's like a paper thin spoon made for trolling deep water for salmon and trout. After that, you have the Jake spoon. This is a spoon that is a little bit heavier. It can be used for trolling, but also casting and even jigging. And then you have the heavy weight of the family, the crusher. So this is a heavy lure that is very good for casting long distances and also for jigging. Also, there is what we call a honeycomb pattern on some of these lures. This is a scale imitation like the real thing. So it flashes underwater like the scale of a real bait fish like alewife or like a smelt. So I think on your next outing, Andrew, you should try the Savant family of lures on your lake. You might catch a few more fish. I think I'll try them, but here's what you need to know. The speed and the temperature when you find those fish. Watch our technical block. It's very important to be well versed on the biological requirements of your preferred species of fish. Knowledge of the correct speeds with the most productive lures is just as vital. It's unbelievable. To find the ideal comfort zone and the best trolling speed, you can count on Fishhawk, whose new system called X4D makes the task much easier. The system includes a bright display with LCD screen and magnum sized digits, plus a probe with a breakaway lead attached to the ball, and a triducer on the transom. Just lower the X4D probe in the water to activate it. Obtain true fishing depth from the water pressure sensor while receiving highly accurate temperature variations. And finally, remove the probe from the water to turn it off. A small propeller spins as the probe moves through the water to give you the exact trolling speed at the downrigger ball. Under normal conditions, you can expect the batteries in the probe to last at least 100 hours. Highly accurate data sent from the probe situated inches from the ball includes temperature, speed, and depth. This system uses wireless digital data transmission to guarantee good readings down to 300 feet deep. The smaller hydrodynamic shape of the probe offers less resistance and does not affect the downrigger cable's trajectory. It's a system that makes it much easier to find and stay in the comfort zone of the target species. Thermocline and ideal temperatures are located very quickly. The lures are always presented at the correct depth and the most productive speeds. This technology works with all downrigger brands. Salmonids are very active when they are found in their preferred temperatures. In summer, they depend on these comfort zones and the presence of abundant prey. Other factors influencing salmonid location are wind direction, water pH, thermocline stability, and the quantity of dissolved oxygen. Trout and salmon generally prefer temperatures higher than salmonids of the char family like lake trout. They can often be found cruising above the thermocline after feeding on prey under it. 
These bait fish also have their preferred temperatures. Unfortunately for them, large predators have no problem handling these thermal requirements when it's time for the chase. Keep a log of all this prize data. It will help predict the next season's migration patterns. Still more to come with things you need to know on Lake Champlain right after this. Mercury 154 stroke, the lightweight, heavyweight. Yeah. And it comes with all this. Meet Tom from Customer Support. Whoa, he's a hugger. Huh? Not really into that, Tom. Thank you. This is Nick from Field Testing, runs these babies thousands of hours. They're solid. Nick, this is Cheryl. And this is Bobby, our prop engineer. Bobby he turns power into performance. Oh, and the rest of the gang's here. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. We're almost halfway done. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparel ensures your total comfort, created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out sportchief.com. No matter the type of transport, trailering, portaging, on a plane, or in your vehicle, always protect your expensive outboard with a Protec motor cover. Protec Marine motor covers are the ultimate protection for any types and sizes of outboards. The outer waterproof fabric and highly resistant interfelt lining makes all the difference in preventing dents, scratches, and damages from dust infiltration. With Protec, your investment will retain its value. For more information or to buy online, visit our website at protecmarine.com. You see this Williams Flasher from the Cell Outdoor Superstore, fish find it very attractive. But what I find attractive is that Cell has about 2,469 other lures right in the store. So for all your fishing needs, go big, go to a Cell Outdoor Superstore. So what'd you think of that? Another great week on Outdoor Passion, Ray Lake Champlain. What can you say? Well, we were in late spring, and you know, at that time of the year, because of the colder water temperatures, the fish can be just about anywhere. So we had to fish close to the bottom in deep water, but also we had to target suspended fish, and also big fish could still be in shallow water. So you have to move around a lot to catch those fish. And you know, now on the New York side of Lake Champlain, you can fish with three rods. This is great news because you can have a much bigger buffet to fool those big fish. For instance, you can fish with downriggers, plano boards, and deep sea divers all at the same time with this new regulation. This is good news. And you know on Lake Champlain, you have to listen to the weather, especially for the wind, because the wind can move around water pockets that are warm or cold, and this will displace the fish. It will change their location. So at that time of the year, we had to move around a lot. I think on your next outing, uh, Andrew, you should try Lake Champlain near Willsboro, New York. You might catch the fish of your life. I think I'm gonna do that. Thank you very much, Ray. And thank you for watching Outdoor Passion. We hope you learned something this week that's gonna make your next fishing trip even more productive. See you next time on Outdoor Passion. Outdoor Passion was brought to you by ProTech Marine, your outboard's best friend. Rapala World Records World Class. And Sail, the Outdoors Superstore. For more information or to contact us, visit our website at www.outdoorpassion.tv.